Chuck Bonner, Chris Tingley, and Lara Wakefield out in a moment to talk about the game. FYI, Boston lost tonight, so the Yanks are a half game out. What about the field? He's with ESPN. Fucking ESPN! The guy's got the game winning RBI. Can't spare 10 minutes for us? He's with ESPN. Fucking ESPN! <laughs> uh, will Bonner be addressing Tony's column in post? I can't speak to that, Linda. So, yeah. <laughs> Nice throwing today, Chuck. Thank you. What's that secret to Mendoza? Chris, were you using fastball on the homer? Yeah. yeah. Uh, Chuck has a prepared statement he would like to read. Uh, uh, Chuck has a prepared statement he would like to read. And then question. And then question. Thank you. 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 We live in a society where baseball players are looked up to as heroes. Right or wrong, I know that is the greatest player for the greatest team in the world. Woo! My life is a public one. However, I like to keep my private life as private as possible. But recent rumors, including an irresponsible column in yesterday's New York Post, forced me to respond. I know that I live in America, the greatest country in the world. Woo! Oh, let's go, baby! And that part of that greatness is freedom of the press. But I resent these rumors, and I resent the fact that I have been forced to dignify them with a response. So I will just say it right here, right now, so there can be no confusion. I am not. I am a right-handed pitcher. I pitch with my right hand. Right hand. I cannot, nor do I even want to, throw with my left hand. I only pitch with my right hand. Okay. I'm like a superstar. Tony's column in the post didn't mention any names at all. Right. It just said, and I'll quote here, <laughs> there's a persistent rumor around town that one Yankee star who spends a lot of time throwing the ball with his right hand is actually ambidextrous and has started to think about declaring his manual orientation. Why do you think the column is about you? <laughs> I don't know who the column's about. You'll have to ask Tony Franklin about that. Sorry, I'll rephrase. Do Yankees fans think the column's about you? Now, I can't control what people think, okay? That's obvious. And I can't convince people what to think. I can only say what I know to be true and what the truth is, and that's I am right-handed and I throw with my right hand. That's it. End of story. Woo! Hey, Chuck, I love that. Coach, hi. Um, is, is there an ambidextrous player on the Yankees? <clears throat> Tell me. I don't know, uh, not that it's anyone's business, but I don't know. I never walked in on anyone throwing with both oh, hands, oh, if that's what you mean. Coach, can you explain the comments you made to Esquire magazine last week? What do you mean explain? Well, I mean, What's to explain? Next question. Next question. Explain. Are the majors ready for an openly ambidextrous player? I said sure. What's to explain? Ain't nothing to explain. Um, is, nothing. is that still how you feel after all the attention this issue has gotten? Sure do. We're all big boys here. Big boys. Hey, go, 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 go. All right. Uh, yeah. Kitty, how do you feel? Are the majors ready for a player who openly has the ability to throw with both hands? Well, you see, in this day and age, it just be all irrelevant. If a man is out here doing his job on the field throwing catching, there shouldn't be any problem at all. Mm -hmm. But there are some practical considerations you'd have to consider. Sure, yeah. Uh, for example, uh, what hand is it where it's going? Oh, yeah. Uh, hey, well, that's a dilemma he would have to figure out. That's exactly right. That's 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 right. Eric Davis, oh, Eric. big headlines of UC season drove by saying that he wouldn't share love with an ambidextrous teammate yet. I head. remember. He's a prince. <laughs> he said, and I'm just paraphrasing here, right? He has a source. But he said, I have no problem with switch hitters, but I don't want anyone on my team going around throwing both hands against the NCAA. Right, he said that. That's just plain weird, he said. He right. Uh, do you think his feelings are shared by many big leaders? Oh!
He's from the old school. Yeah, I mean, that's, oh, that's, that's what I mean. Right. Like Robert and Lee Tyson. Oh, that's real right there. Right. Next question. Oh, I I don't that is like, it's way too far. Oh, yeah. yeah. Um, coach, coach, coach. So who should be the trailblazer, the Jackie Robinson of Amidex Darity? That's a damn good question, oh, girl. You so uh, it shouldn't matter, but it'd be best if he were a real superstar like Jackie was. You know, that's why there's rumors about Chuck. When you get in here, 300 wins. 301. That's a big deal. And you see, if he was ambidextrous, which he's not. Not ambidextrous, y'all. But if he was, now he'd be one real ambassador. Oh. Uh, beyond that, I don't know. Whoever he is, black Jackie, whoever he is, he shouldn't be a real in-your-face ambidextrous guy. Right, I mean, right. he should be proud, but he should have that dignity. Right there. It's best if he's not flamboyant. Oh, yeah. Ooh, using, using his both hands in public. Oh, woo! Oh, you don't want to that.
How about this? Something. And I'm, why? Uh, you know what? No, tell me, why? You ask Greg Maddox if he's ambidextrous. You ask Randy Johnson, do you know? No. Now, what if I was ambidextrous, huh? What if I was? How would this fucking witch hunt make me feel, huh? What kind of message does that send to the world? Chuck. Honey. Oh, Chris, baby doll, I'm just so tired. I know you're tired. <laughs> what if I was tired of keeping secrets? What if I was tired? If you was tired of keeping secrets, you just had to stop keeping secrets. Oh, shut up. Don't do that to me. Shut up. Shut up. Just too much. I know. It's going to be all right. I have something that I would like to say. Oh.